that's Spanish. I've got a great one today for you guys. Y pico. What does that mean? Well, you're going to find out right now. So there are a few different translations for it, but you'll understand them. And I've broken them up here into two parts. The first one I've come across is this idea of just after. Y pico and pico. Pico is like a little bit, just to, and something else a little bit after. So it can be used and is commonly used when talking about time. Llegamos a las once y pico. We arrived, llegamos, the infinitive llegar, AI ver, AR verb, and this is the preterite tense in the past. We arrived a las once y pico. We arrived just after, so that's the epico bit, 11. So you can use this in time, it's quite nice, uh, you know. And often you say that, oh, I don't know exactly, but something just after, yeah, we got there just after 11. So that's one of the translations for it. And another translation is something, okay? So this is relating to age or prices. So tiene 30 y pico años. He's 30 something years old. Yes, it could be she for DNA here, but just to fit it on the screen, I just went with he's. Y pico something. So tiene 30 y pico años. He's 30 something years old. She's 20 something years old. Oh, I can't remember. So it's quite a nice one. And you can really, really sound like you know, know what you're talking about, even though you don't, because it sounds quite native. Cuesta 400 y pico dólares. Accent on the O here, so we're going to really enunciate that. Dólares, dollars. It costs 400 something odd dollars. Or maybe you'd even translate that. It costs 400 odd dollars, something odd dollars, something like that. But again, the epico here is you don't know the exact amount, but it's just after. It's just a little bit more. So it's 400 and a little bit more. E pico. And that's that. So I hope you found that useful. Please do subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends and loved ones. Do like it as well and leave any comments, any feedback you have below. Um, I have got another great video on the personal A, which is an important thing to master in Spanish. So do check that out if you're struggling with it or you don't know what it is. I'll explain it really clearly in the video. Un abrazo. Gracias. Ciao.